Welcome back. Okay, imagine this. Never-ending noise and a smell every time you go outside. That's what an East End community in Toronto says they are dealing with, and that's thanks to a Metrolinx construction site in their neighbourhood. Here's City News reporter Malia Shake. Residents in this Upper Beaches neighborhood say for weeks they've had to deal with these loud and sometimes foul smelling generators which have been placed right beside a playground. Some living in the area say they've complained to Metrolinx which is using the generators but so far it's been radio silence. The generator is always on. And it's just super annoying because it's so loud. Metrolink set up a workspace in this neighborhood a few months ago to work on the Lakeshore East expansion project. Metrolink says their contractor is temporarily using the two generators to run their office trailers so they can power their equipment and refrigeration systems. The site is in use 24 hours a day. It starts to weigh on you uh, over time. I mean, I live uh, literally across the street and there's not a room in my house that you can't hear it. Maktavish, as well as other residents, reached out to Metrolinx to share their ongoing concerns, but say they never heard back. I support this project in concept, uh, but it's the way that it's kind of come about and the way that they've uh, managed the process that I've had problems with. We reached out to Metrolinx and they say in part these generators are equipped with an emission reducing system. Further adding, Toronto Hydro estimates that the first connection can be made on May 19th and one of the generators can then be removed. Toronto Hydro has not yet confirmed when we will get enough power to remove the second generator. As soon as Toronto Hydro makes the second connection, the second generator can also be removed. In Upper Beaches, Malia Sheikh, City News. All right, coming up next, new polls suggesting an overwhelming number of people in Japan think the Summer Olympics should be called off. We've got that story and more coming up.